What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And uh, you guys have been recommending that I check out full South Park episodes. So let's do a channel first today, and let's check out a full episode. So you guys have been recommending Scott Tennerman Must Die, and I've never seen this episode in full. So let's check it out. What the hell are you so happy about, fat ass? Oh, nothing. No big deal, really. What's no big deal? Well, guys, it seems that I am the first one of us to reach manhood after all. What the hell are you talking about? Well, because unlike you guys, I just got my first pubes. Wow. What's pubes? You pubic got hair. pubes? He's you got his first pubic hair. Oh. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. I'm becoming a man. He's lying. You want to see him? Hell no. Here, check him out. We don't want to see them, Cartman. There, see? How do you like them apples? Did this boy just rip out his pubes or? Okay. All right. Ha! What are those? My pubes. What? I got them from Scott Tennerman. Scott Tennerman? The ninth grader? Yep. He let me have them for just 10 bucks. <laughs> I got pubes for you guys, dude. I got pubes for you guys. Cartman, you don't buy pubes. You grow them yourself. Exactly. When you get old enough, you grow your own pubic hair that's attached to you, you fucking dumbass. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah, huh. Why would Scott Tenderman sell me his pubes for ten dollars? Because, retard, you're dumb enough to buy Scott Tenderman's pubes for ten dollars. Oh no. And so I told him, I said, here, I'll sell you my pubes for only ten bucks. And the stupid asshole buys them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, speak man. of the devil. What do you want? Uh yes, I've come to return these pubes that I purchased these. Uh-uh, I don't take returns. Right, but you see, I didn't realize when I bought these pubes from you that you were full of shit. So you can either give me back my ten dollars, or I can go tell my mom on you. You would actually tell your mom that you were stupid enough to pay for my pubes? Uh-uh, I don't think so. Just give me back my money. Buyer beware, dude. Give me my $10, Scott. Hey, I said no. Now get your fat little butt out of here before I kick your head in. Hello, sir. My name is Chris Christopherson. <laughs> I'm with the IRS. I'm here to collect $10 that you owe in back taxes. You're not from the IRS. You glued my pubes onto your face. All right, all right. I'll trade you my pubes back for the money. You will? How much did I charge? Uh, oh, yeah, $10. You got changed for a 20? Oh, uh, I only got $6.12. Oh, well, that's okay. Here, just give me the $6, and then I'll give you the 20. Okay. Now, give me the pubes, and I'll give you back $2. Right. Now, give me the 12 cents, and I'll give you the best of your change back. Cool. And then give me the 20, and I'll give you the pubes. Sweet. Ah, uh, oh, God damn it! One, please. One please. One please. One please. That'll be six dollars. Okay, and how much is that in pubes? We don't take pubes. Listen, we my money is as good pubes. as anybody's. Don't you uh, discriminate against my people by not accepting these pubes. We don't take pubes. End of story. Scott, Courtney Love is in South Park. She's out drunk and spreading her legs and showing her poonanner to everybody. You gotta go check it out. I'll watch your house for you. Okay, I'll buy the pubes back. Here. What? Sixteen dollars. Take it. I I'll even throw in an extra five. Here. Give me back my pubes. Why do you want them back so much? No reason. I don't believe you. All right, all right. The pube fair in Fort Collins. Pube fair? They're paying five bucks a hair for pubes. If I leave now, I can catch the last bus. Five bucks a hair? That's like a million dollars. Here, take your money. Oh, I don't think so, Scott. I'm going to Fort Collins myself. Oh, you can't do this to me. No! Haha, <laughs> sure right you are, Scott. Uh, he is just playing cards. Uh, excuse so me, bad. sir. Yes? Can you tell me where the pube fair is? The pube fair? Yeah, I've got some pubes to sell. There's no such thing, you little smart ass. No such thing. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be Eric Cartman, would you? I'm Eric Cartman. Oh, I think this is for you. <laughs> you really went? What a tard. All right, Scott, you win. I give up. You do? Wow, you're not as stupid as I thought. Yeah, I'll see you around. Sure is too bad about my grandma, though. Your grandma? Huh? Oh, it's it's not really your concern. It's just that, well, my grandma's in the hospital. She's very sick. Doctors say unless I can come up with $16 for operation, they're going to put her down. Oh, jeez, I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, poor grandma. Hey, kid, hold on a second. I'll get your money. <laughs> You're such a douche. Here you go. Oh, wow. Thanks a lot, Scott. But just one thing before I give it to you. What? 
I just... Well, I want you to beg for it. Huh? Just get down on your knees and beg me for the money. Why? Do you want your grandma to live or not? Now dance, little piggy. Dance and oink for me. I'm a little piggy. Here's my snack. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. I'm a little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> now give me back my money. I mean, what can you buy with $16? My parents give me a $50 a week allowance. This pittance means nothing to me. Watch. What? What are you doing? Really? No. W why? Now you can't bug me for your dumb money. I know that doesn't seem like a lot of money to most people, but when you're a little kid and you don't really get money in your hand like that very often, $16 can seem like a lot. I've just finished planning a brilliant little scheme that should put Scott in his place for good. And if you'll help me, I'll give each of you $2. Okay, so what's the plan? It's the brilliant combination of my last two plans. Scott Tenderman's favorite band is Radiohead, right? Yeah, so I realized... What if we got Radiohead to come here to South Park, right? Then they could meet Scott Tenorman and see him get his wiener bitten off by a pony. What? Don't you see? If I can get this pony to bite off Scott's wiener in front of Radiohead, then Scott would cry. And if Scott cries, then Radiohead will think Scott Tenorman is totally not cute. And that would make Scott Tenorman want to die. <laughs> Just a second, fellas. Listen to this. Dear Radiohead, my name is Eric Cartman. I'm a young, supple, eight-year-old boy from South Park, Colorado. I'm writing to you because of a kid I know named Scott Tenorman. Scott is 15, and I'm afraid he has cancer in his ass. Radiohead <laughs> is his favorite band, and it would make his short life if you could find it in your heart to visit him before he dies alone, scared. Won't you please consider it? I don't think he'll make it past next Tuesday around five. Hello, Scott. Hey. I was just stopping by to invite you to my chili con carnival. It's a chili cook-off with rads. Everyone's coming, and I wanted to drop by your invitation personally. Ooh, a chili carnival, huh? That sounds great. Yeah, there's even going to be a big surprise, so you won't want to miss it, Scott. Oh, and here, here's a coupon good for one free pony ride. Wow, a pony ride. Neat. Oh, it will be very neat, Scott. Gosh, chili rides and ponies? What more could I want? A little penis biting the head? What? Nothing, nothing. So you'll come for sure then, Scott? How could I turn it down? Sweet killer. Bye, Scott. All right, I guess we should taste each other's chili, huh? Yeah, this chili looks pretty good. Here's mine. Mmm. I don't know. Your chili is good, Cartman, but I think mine is better. Try it. All right. Hey, this is... I'm glad you like it so much, because now that you're almost finished, I have something to tell you. What? You mean about how you put pubes in your chili? What? Yes, I'm afraid this isn't your chili, Scott. I switched it with chefs. It's delicious, chef. I hadn't planned on that. What I did plan on, however, was that my friend Stan and Kyle would betray me and warn you that the chili con carnival was a trap. Okay. I assumed that they would tell you that I had trained Dinkins Pony to bite off your wiener. What they didn't tell you was that Dinkins is a crazy redneck who shoots trespassers on sight. Knowing that you would go and try to do something to the pony, I warned Mr. Dinkins that violent pony killers were in the area. I also knew that you wouldn't go yourself for fear of having your wiener bitten off. You would most likely send your parents. And I'm afraid that when Mr. Dinkins spotted them on his property, he shot and killed both your parents. Oh! I came just in time to see Mr. Dinkins giving his report to Officer Barbrady. And of course, to steal the bodies. After a night with the hacksaw, I was all ready to put on my chili con carnival so that I could tell you personally about your parents' demise. And of course, feed you your chili. Do you like it? Do you like it, Scott? I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenorman chili. Uh-uh. Oh my god! Oh my oh, god! Oh no! <laughs> my mom and dad are dead! No! No! Uh, excuse me. Who are you? We're that band, Radiohead. <laughs> Jeez, what a little crybaby. You gonna cry all day, <laughs> crybaby? You know, oh. everyone has problems. It doesn't mean you have to be a little crybaby about it. Come on, guys, let's go. This kid is totally not cool. Yeah, that's just the most like uncool salt. kid I've ever met. Little crybaby. <laughs> no, wait! Wait! 
hate. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, let me taste your tears, Scott. Mm, your tears are so yummy and sweet. Dude, I think it might be best for us to never piss Cartman off again. Good call. Oh, the tears of unfathomable sadness. Mm, yummy, yummy, you guys. That's all, folks. What did you sick people just make me watch? Now I see why you recommended that episode to me. Cartman is crazy. This man got Scott Tinnerman's parents killed, chopped them up, put them into some chili, got Scott Tinnerman to eat it, and then just to sprinkle a little salt in the wound, got Radiohead to look down on him and call him a crybaby. Oh, man. It just doesn't get... Oh. I mean, I don't even think, you can't even call that conniving. That's just like, that's like demented. Cartman, bro. Oh, man. I really enjoyed that episode, though. Um, if you have any more recommendations for episodes, please let me know in the comments because I think I'm going to be watching a lot of these. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, and make sure to hit the notification bell so you can find out when I post new videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.